Despite an excellent performance during the first half of the year, the Hounds were met with the struggles every team has. Roster swaps. Losing Quig and Coast, picking up Stewart, as well as back-to-back -back champion and MVP Neil Ma, the team struggled to find their identity during the road to Worlds. Eyes turn towards Neil Ma to facilitate Kerry Stewart and Benny Q and help his team keep a level head as he looks to lead yet another underdog team to victory. I think the Hounds are an interesting team. They do have like sparks of like greatness and you can see it and all their players are really, really strong. Um, then it's just maybe they're not necessarily used to winning all the time. So when they get in that position, it's hard for them to close out a game. That tends to happen with lower seeded teams where in tournament settings or in competitive settings, you're like, Early game, no problem. Mid game, no problem. Get a fire and then it's siege and you're like, ooh, <laughs> what do I do now? Like Oath is like, he's like the peak, like the epitome of a carry player. But sometimes like, it's just not his game. And I think the same goes for like a, a lot of their players. Like sometimes Doki has like an incredible full game or incredible her game. And then next game, it's just not the same thing. I think that's what Hound's problem is, is the fact that they're not really consistent, all of them at the same time, to be like a top team. And I think that's why they struggle in the full split of SBL as well. I mean, Neil is one of the best people to have on your team. He is the most uplifting person. He's really optimistic about everything and he keeps everybody in a good mindset. And I do think the Hounds need that. Um, talking to some other people it can be a situation where they kind of get down on, down on themselves sometimes. So I think somebody like Neil, who has the experience, who has the um, attitude that they really need. I think going into Worlds, if like they let Neil do what Neil wants to do, it's going to be really good. I think Sue, he had like a crazy Worlds run last year, and I think people always overlook it just because we, I guess we didn't win. But I think he, he played really well, and I think someone like Neil can definitely get him back to that spot because I think Neil's always been a player that's kind of uplifted everybody's spirits uh, on the teams he's been on. I'm sure Neil has a lot of confidence when you, I think they lost a lot of, they were losing a lot of sets and they turned it around. So when you've got that experience of coming back, it's always going to be imprinted in your mind somewhere that you know you can win no matter what. Um, but just because you have that opinion doesn't mean it's going to convince the people in your team that it's going to be that way. Like I said earlier, if, you, if they believe that they can do it, then they can do it. As soon as they have that, even if it's a, if it creeps in at all, that little sense of doubt, they're done. But if they, if they believe they can do it, I think they can. So I feel like Nilma is not the best mechanical support in my opinion, but he's a really smart player. Like he, he will make a team work. Like even though he could like be missing some stuff, like missing this and that, I feel like he can lead a team to, to a victory. You don't always need a top player in every single role to win championships. And just look at SK in season six and season seven. Like you just need the right team together to win. And I think Neil can be the glue a lot of the time to teams. And they have some star players on their team for sure. Benny Q always popping off on the raw. Oath is, can be a hard carry, like quadra kills on Thanatos, going crazy mode. So they might be able to get their, their, their stuff together, but if I were a betting man and if I had to choose a team to play against, I'd rather play against them than a lot of the other teams. The Hounds have one final chance to make it to the world stage. Will they get there or will they fall short once more?